In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, this Friday, a week before we celebrate Good Friday, let us approach to the mercy of God and ask through the intercession of our Blessed Mother that she be with us and, and accompany us during these holy days that we are going to celebrate. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this season give your church the grace to imitate devoutly the Blessed Virgin Mary in contemplating the Passion of Christ, grant, we pray, through her intercession, that we may cling more firmly each day to your only begotten Son and come at least to the fullness of his grace, at last to the fullness of his grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. At this moment, I invite you to feel comfortable. We are going to listen to God's word. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure... They will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mine and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distressed, distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged around me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice. And my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you because for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law, I said, You are God's. If it calls them God's to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I in my, the Father. Then they, they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John bap first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no signs, but, even, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, this Friday, a week from uh, Good Friday, we hear this first reading in the Gospel, how Jer the prophet Jeremiah and Jesus, they were persecuted and they were even betrayed by their friends and family members, even their back, because they were proclaiming the truth. In trials and moments like we are facing now, as I mentioned yesterday, the good of the human person is going to come out, but also the worst. And we can see how the, at the beginning of this pandemic, many people were fi even fighting in the stores because they wanted to, to get the products or what they, they need. And, and, and there were many people taking advantage of this. When our security is threatened or our personal interest, there is going to come out from the person the worst part of the human being. But when we are walking with Jesus, a true Christian faithful person, what is coming from inside is going to be good works, good actions, as Jesus Christ is testifying, not only with the, the, the good works that he had performed, giving, uh, giving the, the sight to the blind, uh, giving life even to the death. These good works, proclaiming the good deeds and, and the good news to the poor, as the prophet Isaiah said about Jesus, and Jesus proclaimed at the beginning of, of his ministry that he was doing God's work and performing these good actions. At this moment, my brothers and sisters, I will invite you to continue meditating that when we are doing God's work, not only saying good things, but saying good things accompanied with our, with our works or by our works, we are going to find out how good is the Lord. And it's going to be very difficult because sometimes when we are not only wishing the, the best to others, but doing good things, good actions, performing good actions for others, even our family members are going to betray us or are going to, to be against us. But not only, not only you are going to, or you by yourself, are going to carry the cross of Jesus, but Jesus is going to help you to, car to carry his cross. My brothers and sisters, at this moment of distress, at this moment of need, let us approach to the mercy of God. Let us put into work our prophetic mission 
because when we were baptized, we received these three munera, these three munera that is to be prophet, king, and priest. So this is the moment that we should proclaim, not only through our words, but through our actions, that we are prophets of the good God, the merciful God, and share with others the best that we have. Jesus Christ was persecuted, and He blessed His persecutors. Jesus was crucified, and when He was on the cross, He said to the Father, Father, forgive them, because they don't know what they are doing. That is the mercy of the Father through Jesus. So the mercy of the Father could be shown to others through our life, and that is our mission to be a prophet of God, to be a prophet of God is to be committed not only to say good, good things, but to share good actions with others. Because if we are going to uh, just to follow the law, we can't not practice mercy. But when we put the spirit of the law, it means love in the law of God, we are going to go beyond every effort and reach not only the mercy of God to reach but also to reach those people who are in need of the mercy of God and share it with them so today let us continue asking to our blessed mother to walk with us to be with us and to continue teaching us how to be a good apostle and true disciple of Christ her son as we approach this holy week And at this moment, let us present our petitions to our merciful Father. And let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our archbishops, bishops, and priests, that in all the great and small persecutions they fa face, persecutions that they face may be true to their loyalty to Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Lord may be with the prophets, of our own age, like a mighty champion, helping them to speak out for the right to life and to human dignity for all God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our Eucharistic, that our Eucharist today may unite us to Jesus who is in the Father and enable us to abide in Him and bring forth the good works that He desires to perform through us. Let us pray to the Lord for the sick, the poor, the bereaved, the oppressed, and the persecuted, for all who are suffering, that God may be for them a rock of refuge and a stronghold of hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that Jesus, the Father's beloved Son, may take into His care all our dear ones who have died, bringing them into the Father's presence at the trophies, as the trophies of his victory, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for today's Mass intention, for the repose of the soul of Steve Swanson, Ramon family, and Carmen, Carmen Santillan. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving and merciful Father, listen to our petitions and those that are in the silence of our hearts. And for those intentions that people may have in their homes that they present to you. And we ask you to bless them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Archbishop, Mike, the Auxiliary Bishop, Miguel, our parochial vicar, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, San Antonio de Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Jesus of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at, at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and ask for God's blessing. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you for following us via Facebook. Uh, all our, our friends and family members of this community united in this Holy Sacrament of the Mass, may the Lord continue blessing you and blessing us. 
and giving us what we need in order to succeed in this pandemic. And may the Lord be with you and bless you this weekend. Our Mass ascended. You may go in peace. Thanks be to God.